I mean, that's that's the only way um, that you can get things done. Because in Hollywood, the, here's the problem, and more so than ever, um, there's a lot of great people in Hollywood. But for the most part, there's a lot of people that aren't great, mm. that are, are what called my new favorite term, fraudulent creators. Oh, wow. <laughs> they, they get a lot of... Hey, we got that here get, on YouTube, bro. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... And, Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> well no that it's true there's Love there's you. a lot of fraudulent Notice. creators and in hollywood there's a lot of very successful people that are are fraudulent creators hmm. or they're coasting and they get in the positions yes. of power and they're never going to relinquish them because they get a lot of money right and i i totally understand that i get it and i don't begrudge anybody for getting paid but the problem is that's why we have the rise of skywalker yeah, and and at, at the end of the day, it's, yeah, it's the like, why do we have that movie? What, what, yeah. that, the Rise of Skywalker is the ultimate example of fraudulent creation. People um, that are coasting. And God that, damn it, whatever. Rob. It you never fails, dude. Can't agree more. Every Saturday night, somebody brings up the damn fucking sequels. <laughs> you're going to get me, you're but, gonna get but, me in but, that but, rage because I agree be, with you. Because yeah. the, the reason that those movies were created got created and i i hate to say it but I, I and i don't know him i'm sure he's a perfectly nice guy but in my mind jj abrams destroyed two franchises Ooh, he destroyed star, star trek, trek and, and he destroyed star wars and you can sit there and go well wait a minute you know rise of uh, uh force awakens is so great and i'm like is it it's I mean, star is wars it, is it, is okay. it, it's star wars it's, that's what it's, it is yeah that, that's were, what it they, is and it made two billion dollars copy of a new hope oh. but it but it, it, it's also what is ask yourself what is the story of The Force Awakens? What story is it telling? And the, the reason that you know that it's a fraudulent creation, why is R2-D2 under a tarp? It's under a tarp, R2-D2, the hero of six previous movies, because somebody wanted to make a lot of money selling a product. Why does C-3PO have a red arm? Because... Anybody yep. who buys a C-3PO with a red arm, that money goes back to back Bad Robot. Why does the Millennium Falcon have a rectangular dish? Because they can tell it comes from this movie and somebody gets paid because they've done something new. Yeah. That that yeah. And I get it. I get it. It's business. Yeah. It's not show friends. It's show business. But you know what? That is fraudulent creation. creation. That is somebody who is more interested in getting paid than doing the right thing. And by the way, all right. If you look at if you look at how many people they talk about, like Elon Musk lost so much money on Tesla stock. How many filmmakers made a movie that made two billion dollars, and then their next Star Wars movie made a billion dollars less? How many people have done that? One man, J.J. Abrams, mm, and um, and um, look at how much his Star Trek movies cost that he produced. The three of them. And look at the return on investment. Yo, mm. They still don't even know what's going on with a Star Trek 4. Oh, right. JJ Ab right. By the way, J.J. Abrams, if he is announced as the director of Star Trek 4, don't be surprised. But in this day and age when people are looking at, um, not that I know anything, but if you're looking at how much is, uh, people are getting paid, the Star Trek movies, all three of them have lost money for the studio. So Damn. why? Because J.J. Abrams, and he says this in every interview, I never liked Star Wars or Star Trek. I didn't yeah, like Star it. Trek, yeah. I was a Star Wars fan growing up. I didn't like Star Trek. You can see it. You know, I didn't like yeah. it. Yeah, we can, we, we can tell. We can tell, buddy. We can tell. Because there's Star Trek about those movies. Well, it, it, look, people like, I don't begrudge anybody that likes anything. If you like something, great. But in terms of, of those films... They, you have the Transformers movies making a billion dollars over at Paramount, and here's the thing: a Star Trek movie should not cost two hundred plus million dollars to make, like Into Darkness cost. Star Trek is not that kind of a thing; it's a niche franchise. If you want to yeah. know how to make a Star Trek movie, if you can't make a great Star Trek movie for a hundred million dollars, you're a fraudulent creator. Mm. That's what you are. You're a fraudulent. No, you creator. just need good story. Story. That's, right. that's what Star Trek is. I that's mean, what Star Trek is all about. Star Trek. Exactly. But no. And 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 that is what I think. And I heard somebody, a very powerful person in Hollywood, 
gave me that terminology. And I heard it like only a month ago. And it's my favorite thing because this person who is a very powerful person in Hollywood, who is, I would say his geek, he's Admiral level, Admiral level geek. He, <laughs> and he's also incredibly powerful. He was the dude that told me about fraudulent creation. And he said, it's been the bane of his existence for 25 years that the entertainment business, Hollywood is filled with people he has to deal with that he called fraudulent creators. Well, they a lot of it's like the whole money and circle time. too, right? Oh, it like is. They're all shame. together. And yeah, you know, it's, I mean, you know, like, yeah. And, and the thing is, there's so many people that try Look, it's very hard to make movies and TV in Hollywood. It really is. And I, I, anybody that succeeds and does something great, whether it's house of the dragon or the yeah. boys or, you know, take your pick James Cameron, knocking it out of the park with avatar.